What's up everybody, Evan Young here with week 11 of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 and like we've been saying, this is the last week of the season it's only the Resistance Quest, at least hopefully I think it's the last week you know, they, they added this challenge, Bargain Bin Week and it says you have almost 3 weeks to finish that challenge so like, they say it's gonna end on Friday and then there's a an event on Saturday, but then you can finish the challenge in three weeks. It doesn't make sense. It, might, it could be an error, or we could have two more weeks of overtime challenges. You never know. But for now, let's just pretend this is the last week. This is the last thing we gotta do for the season. No, just the resistance quests as we've been doing through the entire season. If you like pretty simple stuff, you know, at the end there, there's kind of a the final challenge is kind of annoying a little bit and it's kind of silly, you know, I don't know. It's the last challenge of the season, that's the challenge, whatever. So let's start this off. The first device uplink is on Rocky Reels or the Daily Bugle. We're going to do the one that did Daily Bugle. We're actually landing on the outpost near the Daily Bugle because we're going to get the helicopter there so that we can go in between challenges and different device uplinks so we're gonna grab the helicopter we're gonna loot a little bit as well just in case so from there we're going to the daily bugle we're gonna grab the device uplink The actual challenge is activate an emergency beacon at Tilted Towers or Coney Crossroads. So as you can see there, there's two on Tilted Towers, two on Coney Crossroads, we just need one. And that's why we went to Daily Bugle, we're going to the one at Coney Crossroads. Now the next device uplink is near 7 Outpost 2 or 7 Outpost 5. We are going to the one west of Command Cavern. I never know which one is which. I don't care anymore. It's the one west of Command Cavern. It looks like the mech might work. Possibly. The scientist said it's 72% likely to boot, which isn't bad. That's what, a, a C minus? We need fuel, which is why I prepped this nano battery charge pack for you. It is... Look, it's a little busted, but it'll work. Put it on and charge it by collecting Imagine Order fuel cells. It'll lose fuel as you move, but as long as you bring it back with at least 50% charge... Voila! We got a mech! Maybe. Charge pack is online. Bring it back with at least 50% charge. So the actual challenge is equip the backpack and collect Fortnite fuel cells near Command Cavern. So we don't actually have to do this on Command Cavern. I forgot to actually show here. But there is one location right near us, which is where I'm going. So we just connect, collect this charge pack, I believe. Now we go back to the same place we got the backpack and we drop off the charge pack there. And that is a challenge. Fuel cell stabilized. The scientists will install these right away. I'll see you out there on the battlefield, okay? I'll be the one watching your six. Now the next device uplink is near Camp Cuddle or the Joneses. Obviously we're right there at the Camp Cuddle, so we're going there. The challenge is damage opponents with the MK7 assault rifle. So because the circle for me here 
is pretty f closed off. I had to go to the collider and I did damage to the Huntmaster Saber guy, which is at the collider right now. And I believe Sloan is also at the collider. I'm, I think, I'm not sure. But, you know, you could do this against the boss at the command cavern if the circle is in there and if he's still alive, right? And also the other IO guards, obviously, all that. You know, but as you can see here, I actually do exactly 500 damage. Or, I mean, I do the 500 damage only with against the Hunt, hunt Master. Now the next device uplink is near Condo Canyon or Log Jam Lumberyard. We're going to the one at Log Jam Lumberyard. The challenge is bring a car or truck to any seven outpost. So we're going to the one right close to Log Jam. Now, as soon as we get in the seven outposts, we're going to trigger the next challenge, which is the final challenge, which is drive a car or truck between two seven outposts without exceeding a speed of 60. So we're going to the seven outposts west of Command Cavern. So the first time I tried this with this truck, I ended up without fuel. So you gotta watch out for that. You can't leave the car as well. As well. So make sure you have enough fuel to go between places. You don't actually have to... It's okay to pass the 60 limit as long as you don't stay within 60 for like 2 seconds. So just if you see, if you get close to 60, Use the brakes, you know, the, depending on the car you're using. The one I end up using is the best car in the game, but without the off-road tires, so it's not as good, thankfully. And with this car, I had to basically not accelerate at all, and especially because I was going downhill here a lot, I just let the car run, and if it gets close to 60, you just press a little bit of the the brakes. So like I said the first time I tried this, I ran out of fuel. I tried it going from the other outpost to the, this one, to the first one, to the one near Lock Gym. And for some reason it didn't count. You will get notified if you fail the mission. So if you leave the car, if you exceed 60 for a long time, it's gonna say fail. But it didn't say that for me and it didn't count. So I don't know what happened. And they might actually want you to go from this outpost to the other one. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. But yeah, so just have enough fuel and use the brake. Don't accelerate too much, depending on the car you have. And yeah, I guess it's not as annoying, just I was annoyed by it. But yeah, that would be it for this week's Resistance Quest and thus the season as an overall. Uh, hopefully it's over. I... I'm starting to think it's not. I just hope it is. So Friday is going to be the end of the season, whatever that means. Uh, uh, Saturday we got the live event, which I'm also covering. And probably Tuesday is going to be the next season. Thursday is going to be the first week of challenges. So that's it everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, use code Evanyon at the item shop and Epic Game Store. I'll see you for the live event or whatever else they have that I don't know. So, goodbye.